What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Casper Chronicles. It's your boy Casper and today we have a post-December 2020 dinosaur deck profile for you guys. I mean, obviously as you can see we're, we're back to playing some morgue um, and yeah um, I mean I, I do like the versatility of this deck like Miska did not get touched like this deck didn't get touched at all the uh, main addresses for the ban list were uh, Dragon Link and Infernoble Knight. So, you know, thankfully we get to keep our, our boy Misk uh, for at least uh, until the next ban list. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, without further ado, let's uh, <clears throat> go ahead and get into the deck profile. Uh, I'll start with the main deck first. So, to start things off, of course, you have to play... The three Ovi Raptor. This is this is your your one card starter. Uh, uh, in addition to like Misk, excuse me, or um, with Misk or with uh, Lost World. Uh, and then uh, that's it's full combo. Um, I mean, there's really not much else to say. You know, this card is ridiculous. And honestly, if I feel, I feel that if Konami wants to kill dinos, they need to hit this to one or ban it. And dino, dinos dies. So the next card, which of course didn't get touched, is our boy Miscellanosaurus. Of course, we got to have the gold rares. You know what I'm saying? No more comments. I, I am thankful for that, Konami. Thank you very much. Um... I, I would have preferred like a, a an ultra or a secret, but you know what? We'll, we'll take gold. It's better than the common. Uh, but everybody knows what this card does. Uh, it, it, it basically tells your opponent that you, they can't do anything to respond to your dinos. Um, I have been hit with Ash more times than I can count with this this uh, the second effect of this guy to bring out Archosaur. Um, so, I mean, that that's the only time that it hurts. But if you haven't normal summoned yet, and so you have an Archosaur, then, I mean, you you you, you still have full combo. So, yeah. And uh, all right, moving on. So, uh, a little bit little bit of a change from uh, the previous list. Uh, the previous list, we played three. Uh, we have cut it down to two just to uh, make room for, uh, like, a couple more hand traps. Um, and, uh, just disruption. Uh, I mean, this deck is pretty versatile. It can go first or second. Um, I was actually, uh, play testing against, uh, Mr. YG82, uh, and his, uh, Necro, Val uh, Necro Valley Turbo, I guess is what we'll call it. Uh, and Necro Valley hurts a lot. Um, uh, I I'll link his, uh, profile probably somewhere right there. Okay, so um, definitely uh, go check out his channel as well. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe this video as well. Um, uh, but anyway, moving back to the deck profile. So for the babies, we also made some changes here as well. So for, we play the good baby at three still, right? So we only cut, uh, we cut petite to one. Uh, I mean, it's nice to be able to see the baby, but, um, like, I honestly don't, like, if, if I draw this instead of this, like, I can still combo off, but, uh, I'd rather you be able to use this one for bringing out Mr. Pank instead of, um, <clears throat> you know, just using it for, for the regular combo, and then I, uh, <clears throat> I don't have a way to special Pank except for with its own effect. And that sucks. All right. Um, so obviously we play the one pank. Oh man, if we could play more, I would definitely probably put this at, at least two, uh, especially just because of because of Necro Valley and or problematic like floodgates. Because I know uh, there's a couple of control decks running around like Eldritch, uh, like Eldritch Zoo, and I I seen that there was one a couple sub terrors around running around there too. Um, so, and of course, we got to play Big Daddy Tyranno. Everybody knows what this card does. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, touch on it too much. Um, but yeah, th this is, uh, Big Daddy and while he's still around and Ovi Raptor or Mist doesn't get hit, 
this deck will always be a thing because of Conductor. Um, and we still play the one quad list. Um, so my lot, like I originally, I wasn't playing this in this new build, but then I tried it out. You know, I still do like if I'm able to go first that uh, I can end on this with Dolka uh, and the Samorg with the barrier statue, right? Um, so that way I have a spell and trap negate. I have two monster negates and they're locked into wind with uh, the wind lock. So, I, I mean, that's... It's a really, really hard board to deal with, with the addition of like the backup of, uh, backup of uh, the hand traps that we play, and you'll see that here in a minute. Um, so just real quick, uh, the one of us, uh, the one giant Rex, uh, I, I, I've heard about a couple of people have been cutting Rex just because it's, it's not very good, but I, I honestly don't think I'd ever cut Rex. Like Rex is, is really broken and it gives you access to lots and lots of rank four plays um so rex will never leave this deck like ever <laughs> um and of course uh we have to play the one barrier statue just to lock your opponent into wind um a lot of decks don't really have an out to this um and on the final final board uh if you have your make your full combo full board right you still have spell and trap negate uh, two monster negates, right? And also, if uh, some Morg is pointing to this, your opponent can't target this card or, or target any cards that some Morg points to. So, um, I mean, it's 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 quite difficult to um, deal with for some decks, honestly, because, I mean, lately, like it's been kind of like a 50-50 thing where, you know, some things target, some things don't um but yeah i'm rambling uh moving on so hand traps of course we still got to play the gamma package so gamma is still ridiculous um it's <clears throat> I, I i honestly don't think gamma is gonna go anywhere for quite some time uh it does disrupt a lot uh it disrupts virtual world well at the same time it is godly in virtual world um uh it's i i can't think of the rest of the decks right now but it, this this hurts virtual world a lot if you hit lulu uh it sends it to grave and unless they have a a, a strong follow-up ggs and i mean uh it, it'll stop calamities unless they have unless they try to pop calamities with the trap uh and then th that kind of sucks um but if, if you can stop your opponent from going into Calamities, you win. Like, they're not going to have any um, uh, ability to counter. Like, uh, if, if you break their board and get them down to almost nothing or kill them, right? Um Especially with Big Daddy Conductor. They have a pretty hard time. Especially if you have Misk in your hand. They have a really hard time dealing with Conductor. Um, that that I've, I've seen and I've played against. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, enough, enough of that. Uh, moving on for the other hand traps. So, we still play 3 Ash. Uh, I, don't, I don't honestly think this card will ever get uh, cut. Unless it obviously gets hit on the ban list. Because I believe OCG has this set too. Which I don't think it did anything, but I mean, this is going to stay at three, uh, most likely through the foreseeable future. It is really nice. It hits Gamma uh, along with the next card that I'm going to show you. Um, it hits uh, Lulu. Um, it hits uh, their search card. The I can't think of the spell search card. So if you hit that, like ggs uh but moving on uh ash of course has to stay at three so i did try this at three as well just for another uh answer to gamma because honestly if i don't have misc and i have to normal oviraptor first and they gamma that ggs like i mean i can get the search but unless i have another way or if i have if i'm able to get misc still some other way and have a baby in hand that I can combo off from there. However, if they stop my uh, Oviraptor, that really, really hurts. Like, it's a 
Like you can still kind of make a board, but you can't really make a full, like the full, you know, barrier statue, Dolka, Quatlis, you know? So um, that's it for the monsters. Uh, I Honestly, I wouldn't really change anything just because of like the lineups and stuff is it's it's really solid it's really consistent um but yeah uh moving on so for the spells triple fossil dig we don't need to say anything about that this card will probably go to one push come to shove like if konami does not want to hit miscellaneousaurus again which i mean i don't think they're afraid to do so i think they're gonna hit it next list but if, if for some reason they don't, or they want to kill Dinosaur, and they don't want to hit Oviraptor, they're going to hit Fossil Dig to 1, and they're going to hit Mist to 1. Early ban list prediction. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so Fossil Dig is kind of, uh, uh, hey, you know, the, it's a search card. Um, so I did try 3 Forbidden Droplet in the main uh, instead of the side. So, I mean, it's... It's pretty decent. Um, it, it's it's nice just to have like an additional like backup play um, with you know like say you burn through all your negates, but you have droplets, right? And so you burn through two of your Dolka negates. You got Lost World on the field uh, and so on and so forth, right? But you weren't able to get the barrier statue off, right? You can honestly droplets and negate three of your opponent's monster effects, right? I mean, it, it's it's still it's still a really good card. I I do like this a lot. It'll probably stay in the main for the foreseeable future. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, so I only play two pill. Uh, three is just way too bricky. Um, and you want to play two instead of just the one, just so you can search it off Archosaur. Because if you draw your one pill, then Archosaur is dead. Because you have to search a pill for the effect to do its thing um so if you if you draw one you can always search the other one and i mean honestly if um your opponent stops one or you use the 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 first one that you got to bring out quatless quatless old uh for like the spell of trying to get it'll pop itself and then you can add the other one and then you can otk next turn if you know for some reason like they uh <clears throat> break your board all right um because conductor is an absolute tank um moving on uh so we'll play the two lost world and the one terraforming so i contemplated three lost world uh but i ultimately decided on two lost world and the terraforming uh just the terraforming just to kind of deck thin um like yeah lost world is a win con but at the same time, if you draw multiples, it's kind of dead. Um, and I mean, versus like if you were if you're able to deck thing with deck thin with terraforming, then uh, that's a whole nother ballgame. For it, it's uh, less likely of a chance that you're gonna draw the third Lost World when you've already have an established board, or if you're trying to you know uh, out something. I mean the the uh, five hundred attack uh, uh, decrease is amazing but at the same time like I, i'd rather just play terraforming and play the deck thinning game uh and also uh to stop hand traps of course we have to play the one called by the grave uh I, again i don't know why konami hit this to one i still don't know i would really like to know honestly because uh i mean hand traps are a thing still uh again i also understand that i think i believe that they are trying to uh prepare us for whenever we get uh cross out designator but at the same time, like give this to give give this to two, like the OCG has it, and we're still gonna buy uh cross out designator. Like that's another way to stop hand traps instead of you know playing this and then three of cross out designator. Like no matter what, we're still gonna play three cross out designator. Like that's that's not even a, a question. And then uh well I guess technically this is considered a hand trap still, but we still play the three imperm. Uh, I mean, like I said, you know, I want to be versatile. I want to be able to go first. I want to be able to go second. Um, and, and honestly, this deck does it really, really well uh, going first or second. Um, so, yeah, just the, the imperm for an additional interruption. Uh, I mean, if you if you open this and you still make full combo, like you can you can still use it for something, 
you know, if, if they try to, if they actually have a way to try to out your barrier statute lock, uh, you can impern to try to st stun them. Or honestly, this could be trap fodder for uh, forbidden droplets. So uh, that's the de that's the main deck right there. Uh, it is 42 cards. Um, I really tried to make it 40. Um, I mean, I guess if you don't want to play the Ghost Bell and the additional like disruption to like try to stop Gamma, like it will be 40. Um, but I mean, if you really like, because Gamma hurts a lot. So my theory was, you know, try to find ways uh, to stop Gamma that's not Ash or your own Gamma. Um, because, uh, I mean, obviously if, uh, like once we, uh, normal Oviraptor, like the only way to stop it is, uh, Misk, uh, or, uh, Ash or Ghost Bell. Because Gamma's turned off because we have a monster on the field, you know? So, uh, yeah, and en enough about that. Uh, moving on to the extra deck. So, for the links, right, we do play the one access code. Um, honestly, I've never made this, uh, but I do want it in here just in case. Like, I, I need to get up into access code to remove a problem card. Say, I've, like, in the grind game and I've burned through two conductors, you know, which would be absolutely atrociously terrible. But uh, I do want to have this in here just, like, the just-in-case scenario um the the of course the some more you have to play it for the wind lock um lambda so i like this um it honestly like i i have lambda in here just because if uh the the wind lock doesn't really hurt your opponent but gamma does it, instead of ending on this some more with the reaper Dokus play like you can just use the uh the two monsters uh, cause like you're going to make uh link Karibo and giant Rex. So instead you can just do uh link Karibo giant Rex into Lambda and have it over here. And you'll have a baby over here for Quatlis to pop or conductor to pop as well as you'll have, uh, the monster protection from Dolka. So, I mean, and additionally you have gamma in hand as well. So I, I do, I do like this, this a lot, like this card, uh, needs to, I think should be played in every dino build. Anyway, um, uh, the one Nightmare Phoenix for back row removal. Back row freaking hurts this deck so much. Uh, you, you'll see there's a couple other things in here that uh, help with uh, back row and such. Um, the Reaper Dokus, uh, like you have to play this to go into some morgue uh, to change the baby or whatever's underneath uh, whatever the extra monster column is. Uh, like whatever's under there to change it to a wing beast to be able to go into some work. Uh, that's literally the only reason it's played. Um, Penistag, uh, I will never not play this card because this card with conductor, um, is insane because you, whatever this card points to pierces and, uh, 3,500 piercing is pretty, pretty awesome in my opinion. You know, it's, it's almost like chaos max, you know, just, uh, it requires two cards instead of one, you know? Um, so, and for the Link ones, i got to play the one Link Rebo. I thought about playing this to two, um, but uh, I, I don't know. I, I just really like the uh, versatility in this extra deck. As, as you notice, like, we don't play extra. So, um, I mean, we have more control over, like, what, what we're playing in our extra deck versus, you know, worrying about, well, what are we going to banish? Uh, I'm not a fan of extra. I mean, yeah, I know it's a really good card, but again, like I'm not really uh, a huge fan of extra or desires. Uh, bring pot of greed back. I'm, to I'm totally kidding. We're not doing that. Um, so then uh, just the secure garnet, like just in case uh, you need to uh, get link or in the grave for the um, uh, double, double evolution pill play. Um, uh, but aside from that, like it's it, that's the only reason it's in here. Like I, I sometimes go into it, I sometimes don't. But ultimately, I do just uh, I either go into Lambda or Reaper Dokus with the extra baby, and if the Reaper Dokus, I go into some Morg and so on and so forth. Um, that's it for the Link monsters. Uh, moving on to Xyz. So we do play the one Logia. Um, this is just in case for like Spellin Trap or Monster Summon. Uh, uh, I know that um, there's a couple of decks where if 
uh, you negate their normal summon, and it stops their turn unless they have a ridiculous amount of extenders. Um, like this, if you were to uh, negate the activation of a spell or trap, Virtual Roll can't do anything unless they normal summon. Um, and then uh, that's another additional way to slow them down. Uh, and honestly, this with like Conductor, uh, say you, uh, you're you playing against Virtual World, you can negate their spell or trap, right? Or their summon, well, more than likely their spell and trap, right? And then your opponent normal summons a monster to continue to try to get their Virtual World effects. Pop this and book all their, uh, their, their one monster. So now they don't have, unless they have extenders, they don't have a way to make a board, which I, I mean, I do like it a lot. Um, and of course, you gotta play the one Dolka. Uh, Dolka, uh, Dolka is in here just for the simple fact of um, Nibiru, uh, hand traps, so on and so forth. If you don't have Minsk and you're actually still able to do this, uh, and also for Lancia, Lancia is absurdly ridiculous against this deck. We get Lancia, to, we can't do anything. Um, uh, it, it's it's really really difficult. It just turns off our turn. Um, so Dolka is there just to uh, negate problematic like hand traps and stuff, right? Um, so additionally, back or removal tornado. Uh, it also it's also a win. So in order for us, like say your my your opponent can't uh, out the win lock, and they pass it back to you. Technically, you're locked into the win lock too, um, unless you can normal summon a level four, make tornado, and now you're out of the win lock. Uh, and then you could just, you know, do other stuff from there. Uh, it's also good against, uh, like, Virtual World again um, to, like, pop their back row and stuff. Um, uh, yeah, so <sighs> we do play the number 60. Uh, it's really nice to put, to uh, make this and um, Pendestag. Uh, Pendestag has Conductor underneath it, so you can do this. Uh, detach to uh, make conductor 7k and crash into ev and uh, swing into everything with 7k and usually one or two attacks you're going to kill your opponent um, so I, I do like this I, I will probably maybe not ever cut it I don't know like it's kind of like a 50 50 I like it but then I, then I don't like it like there's there's other rank fours that I'd rather play like cowboy or something you know like in case we go into time I, I want to be able to have something to uh, do some damage if me and my opponent ha can't really uh, hurt each other. Um, but yeah, like honestly, it shouldn't get to that point because Dinos is a one-two punch. Um, so uh, Abyss Dweller, I do like this. Uh, like it does turn off, uh, what's her name? Cyber Angel, ben Cyber Angel Ben 10, I believe it is. Right, for Drytron, right? So, like, uh, Graveyard Effects, dwe you make Dweller, they can't do anything. I mean, the, the the most they can do, I believe, is just Ritual Summon stuff. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I don't really know too much about Drytrons. Like, I I haven't really played against them, but I've kind of seen, like, what their end boards are and so on and so forth. So, I mean, Dweller does hurt them quite a bit. Um, but, uh... Moving on to Big Daddy, the best XEs in the game right now, Zeus. So, for some un ridiculously got ungodly reason that you cannot kill your opponent, right? Your X and you have an XEs on the board, right? Depending on the situation. If you're playing Control, um, I mean, Zeus with uh, Misk in hand is broken. Because you can uh, attack with your XEs. Lay down Zeus on top of it, right? And you're still gonna you're gonna have two materials to blow up everything else on their board, right? And then also, if you have Misk, right? You do this, and then you can chain Misk, so that way your your dinosaurs don't go anywhere, and your opponent get, and your opponent's board gets wiped. Which I mean, I really do like. Honestly, I've never really made this, um, but I wanted in here in here just for a what if scenario, you know. So I just want to be covered on all of my bases. And of course, the last and final one is Cypher and Lord Omega. Uh, we we do play the uh, the Gamma package, so I mean, uh, you have to play Omega. Like Omega was uh, is like one of the best cards in the format right now, um, just because you know it, it's it's too free. You know, uh, you give me your opponent on your turn, you can rip another card out of their hands, and they're down two cards. 
Um, so yeah, uh, that is the deck profile, you guys. Um, uh, th thanks for tuning in. Um, I just want to put it out there. Uh, last I checked, we are at 37 subscribers. And just remember, we hit 50. We're going to give this guy away to one, one uh, subscriber. And also, if we hit 100, we're also going to give this guy away. And we're also going to give away uh, two things of Dark Magician sleeves. Um, if this, the, the binder in the sleeves, in addition to the mat is only if we hit a hundred subscribers before the end of the year. Uh, so today when you're, when I'm recording this is, uh, Christmas Eve actually. So we got like seven days a week, uh, to try to get, try to hit to a hundred, uh, uh, at least 50, like we're almost there. We're like 13 away, 50, and we're going to give this away. And then uh, if we don't reach it by the end of the year, like as soon as we hit a hundred, we'll give this stuff away. So remember, share this, share this video with your friends, uh, like, and subscribe and turn on that notification bell. So that way, uh, you get notified whenever I upload new videos. Um, but yeah, uh, th thanks for checking out the deck profile and until next time, it's your move.